for you. Scrub dudes. Later dudes. Delia. Dear Mother, tomorrow we land in Murkwater. I'm nervous. Sure, I've trained, but this is our first engagement on foreign soil. Well, foreign mud. The soldiers I'm with are a motley band. We Altmer are disciplined and respect the chain of command, but the Renrijra and the Oak Oathbreakers are another story. The Renrijra are Khajiiti privateers. They've, they're they very relaxed. No drilling, no inspections, but if you make one mad, she fights like one fierce bastard. They're good to spend some downtime with, as we did up the coast while we were waiting for the Bosmer. Don't worry, I didn't try any moon sugar. Everybody always says the Oathbreakers are Bosmer Barbarians. <coughs> Bosmer Barbarians, except for Captain Pamelwin. Privileges of rank, I guess. They eat vegetables, carve wood, all of that. You'd think without primitive traditions they'd be happy. But they're a grim bunch. They and the Khajiiti avoid each other. I try their meat alcohol since what? <laughs> since we weren't allowed to bring any wine of our own. The rot meth was nasty at first, but you get used to it. How will we hold together when we actually land? These Argonians are civilians, but there will be a lot of them. Shadowfen seems alien and dangerous. Some of the animals you'd think came from Morrowind. Those who live with such creatures must be pretty tough. Glad we're starting with a soft target. Give my love to the cousins, your devoted son, Philpenil. Let's go inside, get these fire assaults. Eee, hell yeah. Dust Shadow. All she saw was the glint of moonlight in a straight sharp line flashing into the man beside her. He groaned and slipped to his knees, falling sideways onto the ground. By the eight, Lorminga whispered in honor and horror. A scaled hand clamped across her mouth, preventing her from saying anything more. It's over, a voice rasped softly. A soft cloud of ash filled the air as she coughed, wondering why the assassin hadn't killed her too. When the dust settled, Lorminga realized she was alone. Only the smear of blood on the floor beside her indicated where her companion had fallen. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, Lorminga looked around carefully, alone. She lifted her unbound hands to her face and prayed. Kind, my goddess and guide, I thank you for saving me from the lizard folk, she said softly. We must return to them we must return them to their masters, and for that you must pay. Lorminga felt the blade slipping through her flesh before she saw the Argonian rise beside her. Her mouth moved soundlessly and her hands clutched at where the weapon had pierced her throat. I had no proof you were involved, woman, the Argonian said, wiping her blade on Lorminga's shirt before sheathing it. Thanks for admitting your guilt before I left. This journey would have been inconvenient for another shadow scale to take so soon. As Lorminga sank to the floor, the Shadow Scale assassin added, We are all part of the pack now, except for traitors like you. And then the assassin, like Lorminga's life, was gone. Interesting. Oh, dudes. Move to flight! Fire salts along the river. I'm not swimming. What? 
Bro, just because I'm like in a little small pool of water. How are you guys going? You've done excellent work. Our agents are in place. All that's left is to set fire to the river. Once the river is ablaze, we'll strike hard from the shadows and take back murk water. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. You should have the honor of lighting the fire after all you've done for us. I've stacked up a pile of wood, light the remaining fire salts, and set everything ablaze. What should I do when the fire is lit? Pale Heart requested you return to her. Leave the fighting to us, and we will live up to your previous example. Now light the fire, show them how shadow scales return a favor. Holy crap. Hello? I'm burning alive here. Damn, that was crazy. I could hear the fire salts exploding from here. Good work. My agents will make quick work of the Dominion's forces. Now to end this. Do you still have the Relaeus lore keystone? Yeah, I have it. Radathax and I think you should be the one invested with the power of the Relaeus lore keystone. The only way to acquire it is by absorbing the stone. Radathax knows the ritual. Why me? Because the Shadow Scales know you're someone we can count on. Someone who sees things through to the end. You deserve to possess its power. Are you ready to begin the ritual? Yes, yeah, start the ritual. Radathax, if you will. Of course. May sit this watch over you, my friend. Radathax, are you hurt? I'll be fine. I have the marsh in my veins. You and the Keystone are now one. Its power resides within you. What can I do with the Keystone? You'll know when the time comes. By now, my agents should have retaken Murkwater. They'll be celebrating in the village as we speak. Alright, cool. If you're leaving soon, I'd like to ask a favor of you. What's that? Take word of what we've accomplished to Azanar and Hismir. They know the situation here at Murkwater, so they should be informed. It's not far from here, just to the northwest. I can do that. All right. All right, let's see. So before... There was a quest nearby. I wonder if that quest is now gone. Oh, it is. The hist will Let's abandon us if a Dominion soldier communes with it. Jeez, man. If you're here to complain about the Dominion soldier's presence, I've already heard every complaint you can imagine. The Dominion is here? 
The soldier in question, Captain Hanamo, announced himself and his intentions to undertake the trials of the burnished scales. The By holy soldier, tradition, pilgrims who declare themselves may not be harmed. The Hist alone decides his worthiness through the trials. Why would these trials interest the Dominion? Those who complete the, the trials may commune with the Hist. I don't know why this interests the Dominion, but I fear it is no good for Shadowfen. Perhaps you could find out yourself, take the trials, and keep an eye on this enemy of our people. I will keep an eye on Captain Hanemo? The trial of the mind is your first challenge. The trial is located in a hut on the northwest corner of the pyramid. Why does a pilgrim have to complete the trials to commune with the Hist? All are as one within the Hist. To be as one requires discipline. The trials prove your commitment. They also test your body and mind. We must see if you are capable of surviving the process without dying or going mad. Interesting. Alright, wait. I have a couple other quests here that I want to... The Dominion will destroy us all! I do. Please, friends, I will do and collect this heart. Also gotta grab the sky shard. There's another quest around here too. Looks like. Hey, there it is. Come on, dude. Are you serious? Why can't I jump up here? What the? Oh my god. Really, bro? There we go. Like the sound of steam or snakes. Alright. Grab this quest over here. If it weren't for your heroism, who would take the relics? Their only value is historic. What relics? Three simple stone pieces, part of our heritage. No jewels, no gold, nothing a dry skin could value. Theft isn't unknown in his smear, but it's rare enough I wouldn't know where to start looking for the culprit. I can help you find your missing relics. Such ardor. You might consider undergoing the trials of the burnished scales if you haven't already. I would welcome any help. I stored the relics in this cart. Perhaps one of the pilgrims observed something I did not. I'll ask the pilgrims. I'll remain here to protect what relics are left. To guard these pieces of our heritage. Such a strange thought. What are the stolen relics exactly? Our history. Carvings, keystones, and bits of Hismir itself. All of it rough old stone. Every season, we take them to our pilgrimage sites. They have no value to anyone but us. Okay, wait, before I do that... There we go. Let me do this one real quick. So this is the... One with the orc. Strength of the Father. In the depths of Atano's ruins, I came across the corpse of Gordag, cooked in his armor by a beast that dwells there. I prepared a dose of Seriweed elixir for Mozgosh, despite what her father wished. I won't know if it works until I give it to her in his mirror. Okay. So where is she at? Is there another quest? Holy crap. Right yeah, here she is. I what? Here we go. The pain's gone. Nice. I feel strong again. Fully healed. Where's my father? I must go to him. He's dead. I found his journal and brought the cure. Dead? Then the guides told the truth. Thank you for my strength and my life. I'll visit Moloch's fury upon our clan. They'll pay the blood price for abandoning my father and me. All right. When nice. I leave this place, I will need all my strength. I thank you for my life. Who are you? Mazgash, daughter of Gordag whose blood is Moloch's by honor and strength. Through our shared blood, his strength is mine. What brought you to Hismir? 
An assassin attacked my father. I snapped his neck, but he grazed me with a poison dagger. My father and I came alone to find a cure after the clan refused to march together. Your father? Gordag, chief of the greatest orc hold in Skyrim. Dead now, but with honor. Now Glorig rules the clan. A coward sitting in my father's seat. Couldn't you challenge him? I plan to. Code be damned, I am stronger than that coward! I'll see him pay the blood price, or die while cutting his throat! If no one else in the hold will challenge him, I must. What will you do now? Return to my clan's stronghold. Depose Glurig and exact the blood price for my father's death. If they'd marched with him, he'd still be alive. My people would still have a worthy chief. Why didn't they march with him? Glurig told them a woman was not worth the effort, no matter her strength. According to my sister, Glurig seized power when we left. She sent word he'd even taken my father's wives for his own. Damn. Coward. He dared only with my father gone. Oh, well, that's rough. Alright, there's another quest over here. Ah! Damn it. Ah, curse it all. What happened to our pilgrim? Where could they be? The pilgrims were supposed to arrive hours ago. What pilgrims? I expected some pilgrims from Forsaken Hamlet today. With the trials at hand, I must stay here. And none of the other route stewards have the time to search the Northeast Road. If you're headed that way, would you look for them? Oh yeah, they should all be dead, man. I was there, it was abandoned. If I find them, I'll let you know. Alright, cool. Click this Aelid's heart. Please, I'm doing all I can to ensure your concerns are met. Attacked. Let's go there real quick. You made it. I wasn't sure if you would. I haven't had a drink in days, but if you've got the ingredients I need, it's time to celebrate. Okay, I did your hunting, now what? Give me the meat, quietly. Vinaza is here and he's suspicious. But if he doesn't see you pass me the ingredients, he'll have to admit I won the bet. <laughs> Let me think for a minute. What a fortunatious event, meeting you here. I hope your hunting went well. It did, thanks. And what are you doing here? Settling a bet with my friend Angwe. She disparulted my profession, and I mean to see that she is properly punished. You know something about our wager, I believe. Hmm. Let's see. Yes, in fact, she had me do her hunting for her. Here's a meat I found. Let me see which one. Drunk a cook, Angwe is in trouble. She bet her hunter friend that she collected ingredients from beasts all over Shadowfen and cook him a feast in Hismir. Now sober, she is afraid to venture out into the Fen for fear of those same creatures. I've collected all the cook's ingredients and I need to take them to Hismir. But I also need to decide, should I take them to her so she can win her bet, or should I give them to Veniza, Vinaza and reveal his drunk drunkard friend's plan to cheat him? Well, guess I'm giving it what to him. Settling a bet with my... My gratuitousness knows no bounds. I'm not certain my reputation would survive the humiliation of paying off this bet. Here, take this. It may not help a hunter of your obvious adroitinosity, but you deserve something for your efforts. Thank you. Alright, cool. 
Sorry, bro. You messed up. Your perfectuity has been exposited. Now pay up, Angwe. Pinaz is a hunter. He hunts both <laughs> east and west. If you ever need a hunter, Pinaz is the best. I'll never be able to show my face in his mirror again. <laughs> yeah. That was great. You say for this next trial I'll need to run? Fine. I suppose I could push me out of the way, bro. Alright, what's the next one? Search for the pilgrims. No, damn it. Man, you made me fall. I wanted to jump. Wait a minute. What's that? It's a dark anchor, I believe, but. Did you get cleared or it's just I think you got cleared. Yep. There's nothing here. Sad. Alright. I'll do it later. Let's see, uh Alright. Doing pretty good. Thirty-nine or fifty-one. Let's see, there's one more stone, which is all the way to the west. Uh, a couple more. It's two more um, delves, which I have. Dark anchor here. Four more sky shards. Uh, another. Where the hell is the? Oh. There's a crafting area, like, right here somewhere. Okay, um, I'm... Let me see, I'm gonna go... Let's this quest real quick. Search for the lost pilgrims. Yep, they're all dead. I know it. Called it. Pilgrims' bodies are still warm. They died very recently. find another dead pilgrim. Her throat was cleanly cut with a blade, and from the damage to her body, she clearly fell from the nearby cliff. Like the others, her body is still warm. Right, Matic for the job. They said the work would be hard, but Hushmahim did not expect it to be so backbreaking. To be paid, Hushmahim needed to fill eight baskets a day, but his tools were crude. Small Maddox were not made for clawed hands, not when they formed from the only tools available. Rust colored liquid seeped from the piles of slag, staining everyone's scales a dusky orange. Hushmahim crawled forward a few feet, dragging his back baskets behind him so he could pull apart a new section of earth and rock. Uh, the miners tapped apart rocks and sifted through the mud for the rich variety of regions found in these oozing mounds. The miner beside him said, Finish my eighth basket, you. Almost done with seven, Hushmahim replied. You're always done first, Split Tail. What's your secret? Hard work, said Split Tail with a grin. Also, I made enough to buy a bigger mattock. 
cheater, said Hushmaheen with a good-natured chuckle. I'm heading out now. A cascade of dry earth slid down the terraced wall toward them. The miners used these collapses, grabbed their workloads, and quickly moved away. There, someone yelled. Hushmaheen and Spitzail, still beside each other, looked at the slo slope above them. Though dust rose from the slithering scree, they could see shapes hurling toward them, learning, leaning back on their heels, arms outstretched for balance. Ogres, tell the a blow silenced but tail, knocking him to the ground. A dozen ogres attacked the unarmed miners, ruling nothing but nothing more powerful than their beefy fists. Hushmaheen ducked a right hook, still clutching a basket to his chest. He had to get to the village and warn people. Ogres hadn't been seen near the mines in at least twelve months. He scrambled forward, realizing that he still held the basket. He flung it away so he could use both hands. A brute stronger than Hushmaheen grabbed his tail and pulled him backwards. And then it let out a scream of rage and pain as Splittail swung his proper sized mattock into the ogre's hand. Run, Splittail cried. Interesting. Alright, let's return to this dude real quick. Have you found any signs of our missing pilgrims? Dominion soldiers killed the pilgrims. I've slain them in turn. What would the Dominion gain by keeping pilgrims from the trials? It is senseless. Indeed. Sorry, man. Sucks, but yeah.